In this video, we're gonna talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 46. Fuck <laughs> it! <laughs> Keep on watching and subscribe to this channel! The gunshots? Where are they? Right? And, okay, I'm gonna explain why a little bit later on, right? But first order of business, the thumbnail. This was the final scene of this episode where everyone found out that Yuwaku is now possessed by the Earth, the Mar. I say, hindi yun ang usual na kulay na mata niya. If you've seen episode 44 already, ganito ganito rin yung kulay ng mata ni Director Nanahoshi when she was possessed by the Earth, the Mar. Habang uh, kaduwe si Mida. I don't know why I found this both cute and disturbing at the same time, guys. Pero um, it's that same feeling that made uh, that compelled me to make this the thumbnail for our review. You're probably wondering kung bakit um, featured siya ngayon. Okay? For the benefit of, the, of, of my free audience, here's my explanation. Ever since the start of Volume 10, I have relegated Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush as a tool to alternate status. And for good reason. Two enemies in the roster have uh, have unexpected hiatuses so far this with this enemy season. Uncle from another world, and more recently, near Automata version 1.1a. Relegating this to alternate status was a good move for me. In order for me to personally keep the number to a, to a certain quota, right? Remember guys, we got 14 enemies in this roster and I intend to keep it that way until the end of the season. This is the basic concept of the alternate. Okay, so this will be the first time we will ever feature Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rust Volume 10. So with that out of the way guys, both the thumbnail and the reason why Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush is being featured right now. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode, as we last did in Volume 9. Face! Unremarkable ang pacing ng episode na to. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! pacing. Siyempre, may dual scene, kaya the pacing picked up. Leading to our final scene. Siyempre, nag-iimpisti kasi lang mga nagbut na road yan dito separately. Do I have complaints, guys? No! Like I said just a while ago, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! pacing. So, naman! First gear shift was when the Earth of Mars crater was found empty. In case, you, uh, in case you've seen the episode already. Excuse me. Why did I call this a gear shift? Simply lang. It triggered the entire episode. It triggered... Um... Uh, Manabos and Robins in separate investigations. Final gear shift. Oh, hindi ba lang. <clears throat> Was when Manabo activated Fusion. Kasi nalaman lang kina Nahoshi na um, it gets excited when when this particular card is activated. Ayun. So, it becomes a no brainer of a gear shift. Dahil so, okay. dito nalaman nila Manabo at ni Rovian Kung sino ang, ang possession suspect nila. Surprise! You got your suspect. So based two gear shifts that I saw, guys. Nope. Itin. Watch the whole episode. Especially the dual scene. Plot lines. <clears throat> yeah, may dual scene eh. For every... Do you see, it has its own script. So, for an episode having two separate scripts, ito lang maa-assume niyo. Planchado ang plot, guys! Well, I am not plot, which is vintage of a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. Right? Ever since, um, ever since Duel Monsters, Every, nearly every Yu-Gi-Oh! episode has a well-ironed-out plot. They 
based on that theory na the dual scene has its own script. Bira na talaga ngayon ang, ang isang video episode na totally clean ang plot. Because it didn't have a dual scene. Eh, lang na ngayon. Pero hindi. Napakatalas kasi ngayon kasi um, Bridge is now handling the um, the, uh, the story concept and of course the animation. So expect some episodes to to not have dual scenes but when there is one we now go back to the to the vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, yu -Oh! pacing and plotting. And this is no exception guys. Because we have a really intense dual scene here. So, it was a well ironed out plot. So, very slow and plot. As usual, we all came together for for uh, for, for a video -Oh! episode, folks. It's almost no different. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Boas, episode 46. No brainer, folks. Two thumbs up! Tell you guys. Grabin. Tidak suspecha ang mga hindi. Mano po si Rohan dito as being possessed by the Earth Lamarn. Kasi kanina ko pa natin yung mga galaw ni Rohan dito. Okay. So, what happens? Again, what happens to Yuwamo now? Oh. That's, uh, that's yet to be seen in its entirety. Nagkatiso na, pero like I've been telling you guys since the critics have started, you just can't trust teasers for a bit. You gotta wait for the next episode to drop. So, coming in. In the meantime, what's the other reviews on this on this playlist? Okay? I'll be counting you on. I'll be counting on you for that.